hours of 11.26 a.m. on January 27, 2024, and 10.02 a.m. on January 28, 2024. Then you'll find a viral, disingenuous, judgmental tweet that would diminish you for having a hobby. So what am I talking about? Well, a Twitter user who goes by the name Gook Dub uh, made this tweet in 2024. He says, if you're in your late 20s and you still have no hobby besides media consumption, you're cooked. Bring back real hobbies. I hate to break it to Gook Dub. Media consumption or media diet is the sum of information and entertainment media taken in by an individual or group. It includes activities such as interacting with new media, reading books and magazines, watching television and film, and listening to radio. And a hobby is an activity. Therefore, media consumption is a hobby. But don't just take my word for it. There are tweets out there that I find that also say the same that I'm saying right now. Books, music, and movies are all forms of media. Exactly, and people enjoy doing this. Who the fuck is playing Cam Dama over a movie? Watching movies is a hobby. People make careers off of reviews. Hobby doesn't equal career. If you want to watch movies, go for it. This is a tweet, not the Ten Commandments. Who said it was? Lo, I'm just making a point when you're trying downplay other things. Most hobby involve consumption in one way or another. People like this tend to downplay because they don't have any self-esteem or self-respect for others who have other things as a hobby that doesn't have to be physical. Now, I understand, but I was saying there's some other things that don't require media to try. Yes, that's true, but that's a, that doesn't mean everyone has to try different hobbies. Because there are people out there who stick to one hobby, and they stick to that one hobby more because they like that one hobby than any other hobbies. Agree to blame for people's reliance on media as a hobby, in a way, shouldn't be at the hands of people as if everyone is a media consuming zombie, it's at the structure of work. People are too tired, antics, media companies are funded so that entertainment equals leisure, sadly. Yeah, no one's a media consuming zombie. We just like to watch TV, videos, and listening to music a lot because there are active TV viewers and audio listeners. It's okay to not be interested in anything. Ultimately, yes, because it's your life, not mine, but what does a person with no interest in anything do? I'll have you know that listening to music and watching TV and watching videos online is an interest. In this comedy, Hiking is free, most galleries are free, volunteering is free, drawing requires a pencil and a piece of paper. You just gotta put some thought. You just mentioned a pencil and paper. Because when you go to a store like Staples for instance, you don't get it for free. You have to pay for it. I will just say some people can never comprehend what being poor means how transportation is expensive, how buying supplies for art is expensive. Saying hobbies are free is always insane to me because unless your hobby is pirating, it's not free. Because if a pen and paper were free, or if a pencil and paper were free, then it would be free to draw. But since you have to pay for things to draw, that's never the case. I think exploring new hobbies in your late 20s can be a path to discovering hidden talents or passions. It's never too late to learn a skill or engage in activities that contribute to personal growth and enrich your life. 
Exactly, and if someone's new activity is media consumption, then that is their thing. Because again, not every hobby has to be physical. It can also be relaxing. Reading is fun though, and reading is one of those hobbies that can be relaxing. It's called having a well-rounded personality and the fact people are arguing it in the replies. LMAO, the intent of defending being average. Is Mr. No Way not realizing that he is average as well? Waking up hills in the middle of nowhere for hours doesn't make your personality any more interesting. Exactly. I hate when people think that having a personality requires you to do some outdoorsy stuff as a hobby. It's just nonsense. But you know what I meant, why you wouldn't want a hobby as a grown ass person. Doing nothing really sounds attractive to people? Yes, technically, because watching TV and movies are a form of leisure time, not just strenuous physical activities. Where are y'all getting at me if consumption equals no hobbies? Film, music, art museums, video games, books, fashion and fashion shows, all of these can be hobbies and are also media consumption. Yeah, pretty much true. All of these can be a hobby. And anyone else who says it's not, don't understand hobbies. What if you're into film and music as an artistic passion? That's more than just consuming media. Yeah, that's true. That's very true. Please, let people live their lives. You're not their mother. Based. Hey, leave us alone. We are maintaining. Yeah, Twitter user gooped up. Leave people alone. What's wrong with that, LMAO? Nothing. Nothing's wrong with it. Stop shaming people. Motherfuckers already got anxiety for no reason. If you have no hobby, just take a nap. I literally have more than enough for all of us, but I also just mostly take naps instead. This person said that they can't relate because I have too many hobbies to be coming up with dumbass rude posts like this in my free time. Yeah, you're not wrong. He is kind of rude for saying this. Are you dumb, stupid, or dumb? My guess is the latter. Anyone saying that money prevents them from doing hobbies is lazy, LMAO. Plus, you can teach yourself for free so much stuff now online. And this is the lowest IQ take ever because not everybody is rich enough to pay. And keep in mind that it's also quite hard for somebody to find something to do for free. Like, not one person is, is gonna search online something to do for free as a hobby. Most hobbies required some form of money, whether it's gas money to get there, money to buy the supplies for your hobby, etc. It's not as easy as that and your ego and privilege shine through in that. Very short reply you put out. Then he says, no privilege here, just mature enough to realize you can't victimize yourself forever just cause you don't want to get a job or to work to pursue passions. And you say, no privilege here because you think it's easy to get a job when it's not. It's not 2019 anymore. This isn't one of those years or days where you can easily get a job. It's harder than ever before now. Of course, everything requires some sort of money, but you can be smart about it. Get a job then or find a way to make it happen. You say no privilege, but you're speaking like someone who had privilege because they found a job that's right for them. Not everyone has that privilege. So I find it disingenuous that you would say that you have no privilege here. When you do, the point is that you're alive and will continue to be so instead of victimizing yourself in every way possible while time creases work within your means. Not everything is a moral and sociological dilemma like he said, get a hobby, 
not get financial stability, bruh. You're reaching if you claim that everything is a moral and sociological dilemma. Providing a valid response and offering a scenario to previous reply is me victimizing myself in every way possible? Reaching. I just replied to what he said. And you're right. It's not a dilemma. It's a conversation. You're the one who seems to think it's a dilemma. Then, of course, some people call them out for not showing empathy and that they shouldn't speak from a privilege of things to say like this. And that hobbies can be dangerous if some people did not invest in the money for the professional training. Like one, of course, would do with ballet or boxing. Though some people say that the guy made a dumb take and I highly 1000% agree. And this person says, oh brother, now the person with NYC in their bio is gonna preach to us. He won't because he doesn't know that hobbies don't have to be physical. This guy says that media consumption can be a hobby, just depends how you go about it. Exactly. Don't you guys get tired policing what people do in their free time to relax? Exactly! Like, I fucking hate that. I fucking hate when people do police what people can or cannot do. To relax. I feel like we gotta stop calling enjoying someone's creation in whatever form to see media. It feels so detached from the fact that another human being created to be enjoyed by people. I think people some... I think so lost pilot on that one. I get OP's point but though, don't let it be exclusively your hobby etc. Be an active participant in life and start getting out there and do slash create something etc. This is just a nitpick of mine. Well if this guy didn't use the term media consumption in a dehumanizing way, then everyone wouldn't have an issue. What would you use instead of consume media? I also don't like the term because it feels too dystopian, but I haven't been able to come up with a better one. Enjoying art. Don't let your enjoyment in appreciating art be watered down to be as mindless as consuming media. Saying consume art is just sad for both the audience and the creator. While I, for one, am okay with the term media consumption. But I don't like it when people like this use the term media consumption in a dehumanizing way by simply shaming others who enjoy media in all different forms as a non-physical hobby or in my view a physical hobby because for one I use video game controllers to play a video game and my thumbs are physically active because I am using a video game console, or at least I used to use it for seven to eight straight hours every Saturday night at the time. Also, it's not just people who are 20 that have been consuming media. People who are 67 have consumed media as well. And if you're also one of those Twitter users who are power scaling hobbies now, then you need serious help. And this person says, right, like, bro, who the fuck are you? Let people live how they want. None of us have the right to judge what other people do in their free time unless it's really bad. And what's really bad is just not exercising all day, every day for the next 30 days. That is really bad. This Twitter user says, Spires in the fuck ass Bob posted one TikTok almost four years ago and you people haven't shut the fuck up about hobbies since. Yeah, like, come on. Nobody wants to hear your fucking opinion on what you think a hobby is. This society of ours really gotta stop normalizing this type of behavior. Media consumption is such an all encompassing category that this statement kind of means nothing. Listening to music, reading books, playing challenging video games are all beneficial hobbies that fall under media consumption. 
Say it louder for the people in the back so they can hear it. I hate how art has become media consumption. Movies, books, and music have become something to be consumed not in a cool, cannibalism way, but something of a product manufactured by someone hoping to profit off of you. It's not that I want artists to starve to achieve freedom from this phenomenon. I'm just mad about the ultra commercialism of the arts. Now, I don't know what the word commercialism means, but I agree with this Tori's point. I think they just mean reading books and listening to music usually aren't considered real hobbies. Doing slash making music and writing books is a hell of a hobby though. Well, it is considered real hobbies. I understand, but books are made to be read and music to be listened to. And I think they should definitely count as valuable acts to partake in because otherwise don't. The act of those creations become a really lonely exercise. Consumed is a nonsensical term for interacting with great art, as if one takes in at once all of a piece and fully digests it, as if a truly rests on it piece doesn't demand to be returned to, to be reflected on, to be carried with you and tested about the world. I fully agree. Reading is media consumption too, BTW. You're not better than the movie watcher if you spend all your time reading books. It's just as much or as little as a hobby. Yeah, see, this guy gets it too. Really, why in the fuck do you care what other people's hobbies are? That doesn't affect you in the slightest. Of all the things to start this course about, like how bored are you, go do one of your 500 interesting cool guy hobbies since you have them. Exactly, Lance. Why the fuck do you care about what other people do in their free time? As a hobby. Why? This one struck a nerve, huh, little bro? It's a weird pointless take. In the quote, make me lose brain cells. I'm allowed to speak on it. Duh. And unfortunately, Lance is allowed to say these pointless, marky remarks. Like this one, for example. Simply saying, it's kind of like that's the point of the app. And this person says to him, yeah, so why would you assume it hit a nerve? Yeah, Lance, why would you assume it? It's almost like we are both using the app as intended. It was a statement, but you're getting it. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response, were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought? Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. Anyway, it wasn't a statement, it was an opinion. A very bad one, that, because if you were making a statement, you would make a fact. You weren't making a fact. You should make your new hobby not being a judgy prick. Get a load of this person who says this. The reason people are miserable is we consume so much and create little. Make silly drawing, make tasty food, right? Create something, anything. It doesn't even have to be perfect. Yeah, see, this person's tweet, this person's tweet is a red flag because she, this person just assumed that media consumption, consumption makes you depressed. When there is in fact no study that media consumption makes you miserable in life. It is a total misconception and I want people like this to stop saying that. 
And this person says all the motherfuckers giving excuses in the comments are the biggest cope addicts I've ever seen. You can consume all the media you want and you still have ample time for five to six hobbies that you can do throughout the week unless you are disgustingly addicted to watching reels or have a 70 hour work week. You don't. No lion H hearted. No one's giving excuses at all. And what I've said since the beginning of this video is that not everybody on planet Earth needs to have more than one hobby. All of what everyone is saying here is that you cannot tell people what they can or cannot enjoy as a hobby. And besides, my three to four main hobbies right now is making videos, watching videos, and watching TV, and also listening to music. And I made it my lifelong hobby as of right now because that is something that I can only do during my leisure time at home. And by the way, just because I do that doesn't mean I'm addicted. And again, if you got a treadmill at home or a bike at home, you can watch TV from the comfort of your home while you exercise at the same time. But again, if you prefer to mostly sit and relax while you watch TV during your leisure time, then that is considered a hobby. So leave people the fuck alone and let them enjoy the hobby that they want to enjoy. And this person says, media consumption, fuck off. Reading books is a hobby. Watching movies is a hobby. Listening to music is a hobby. Playing video games is a hobby. It doesn't matter if you engage with corporate slop or something two people and their cats know. Culture is a hobby. This is the kind of thing that looks impressive from the outside but doesn't appear to make that much of a difference for the person themselves. I have a lot of hobbies. I suck at every single one of them. Sometimes it's reacting, sometimes I feel particularly part of something I made. But the people who do nothing but media consumption seems to be just as, if not more happy and content with their lives. See, now there's a reasonable understanding take. Because I, as much as any other person who does media consumption, is happy with their lives. Hobbies beyond media consumption also doesn't say much. Playing AA games and watching longer movies is an entirely different thing from reading literature and learning history. Even among physical or productive activities, you can have more or less constructive hobbies. And that's before we even get to how you go about it. Solo versus group versus joining a community of hobbyists are also very different things that can lead to very different outcomes. Yeah, my point exactly, because once again, people don't have to get more than one hobby, and some of us prefer to do that one hobby more because we like that one hobby. Building computers and my frequent bouts to the hardware store aside, I think you have the wrong idea of media consumption. Books are media, art is media, brilliant films are media. You listed going to free galleries, yet fail to see that's consuming media. Media consumption is not the problem here. Poor comprehension of it and ingesting corporate slop is, as with everything under capitalism. Yeah, we need to fix the youngsters' minds because nowadays that's all they have is poor comprehension. You're probably not cooked. Most people, I would assume, only have media consumption hobbies at this point. Well, again, because having one hobby takes up more of your time. And some people, for example, have Legos as their hobby because that is the one hobby that they can do for at least two to three hours to pass the time. So there's no reason for people to find 
a gazillion hobbies should do when one or two is fine. You're probably not cooked. Most people, I would assume, have only media consumption hobbies at this point. People should find a creative outlet to channel their energies and have a physical activity for health reasons. But you're honestly probably fine socially if your hobbies are about media consumption. Yes, finally, somebody understands. There are people who watch or listen to all different types of media every day and they are still fine socially. Like they don't lose sight of their friends, they can still socialize with their peers after being consumed by media all day. Media consumption doesn't make you less social because you're an extrovert. And by the way, going back to this tweet here from No Way, I have two more tweets that I could have talked about earlier in response to the situation. Being able to not just not do anything in spare time is a lot more appealing when you're when you remember we're stuck doing shit eight hours a day. Yes, and what this Twitter user means by that is when an average American has a nine to five job and you're stuck doing the work for eight hours a day, five to seven days a week, then you get no amount of leisure time. You only get about 15, 30 minutes, not two to seven hours of leisure time at work. You have to wait to not be able to do anything but relax at home after you're done working. Moreover, doing nothing at home is a much better relaxation because you're already tired from working at your job and you need to come back home and have an area to relax in. And as to watch TV and relax and watch your favorite shows. No one's saying that. It's just fucking weird to be the hobby police. Also, a lot of hobbies that this guy is referring to are just older forms of media consumption. Also, most artists engage with other art. Fuck's sake. Yeah, it's just fucking weird when some people are policing what other people can or cannot do. Just because they think they know what they're hobby is. Or to put it in much broader, better terms, they think they know what's a hobby to them and not what is a hobby to those of us who really want something to relax and not have to do anything all day after getting home from work. Bottom line, if you say that media consumption is not a real hobby, but yet you're reading a book called Slow Sex Secrets, then that makes you a hypocrite because you're reading a type of media. And please, stop smoking a cigarette. It doesn't make you feel good. Because people who smoke cigarettes don't think when they tweet.